Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Alleluia. be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let's first call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preached the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and, and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firm, firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord.
All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves, the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there. And of, Z and of Zion, they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there. And all shall sing in their festive dance, my home is within you. Hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the, G so the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Native American lad was asking his grandfather why it always seemed so difficult to live, to choose the right, why people were always at each other's throats. The grandfather told them that now it felt as if there were two wolves fighting in his heart, a wolf filled with love and compassion and a wolf filled with hatred and revenge. His grandson asked him if he knew which wolf would win the fight. The grandfather replied, whichever one I feed.
That's true for each of us. And it's interesting as we're in this time of isolation, in which we're separated from a whole lot of society except what gets fed to us in the media. And which of our instincts is going to win out? Depends on which one we feed. What a time we have in which we are set apart that we have this opportunity to hear the word of God calling us, shaping us. And do we take advantage? Yeah and no. Let's listen to God's call to us the voice of the shepherd and follow. Let us turn to the Father of mercies with confidence and faith during this time of global pandemic. For an end to the COVID-19 pandemic, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill with COVID-19, for medical professionals and care providers, for leaders of governments, and for all who are negatively impacted by the pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are not able to attend mass and other religious services, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Benedictine communities and oblates throughout the world, that they may be preserved in good health and be places of peace in troubled times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died from COVID-19, and for those who mourn for them, for our deceased confreres and oblates, relatives, friends, benefactors, and alumni, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of mercy and God of all consolation, you give health of soul and body. Hear our prayers that we offer you in faith during this time of trial, and help us to be a source of strength for those who are in need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord that we may always find delight in these pastoral mysteries so that the renewed con renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory, memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter. 
shelter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. <laughs>